What's up guys, DJ here at Top Deck Cards and Games. I got a box of the Destiny Soldier set here in front of me. You guys can see it's nice and sealed, in case anybody thinks I'm a bamboozler. I'm doing it at my house, this at my house, so please excuse my cats, they're kind of idiots. They will almost definitely jump into this, but that's all right. Crack this bad boy open. Uh, so, there's a couple different themes in this set. I'll level with you guys. I only know what the Dark Lords do. I think they're really cool, but I'm gonna find out what the other ones do right now. You got Destiny Draw, Plasma, Lore, Beginning of the End. A nice four cards that can go into your hero decks. A Lore and Deidre obviously are very key for drawing cards. Plasma is also a trading target. Beginning of the End's a little bit deeper. And then we have one Dark Lord Mastin. I'll show you guys this. The lighting in here is not very good. I apologize. Uh, Mastin is you can discard two other Dark Lord cards, special summon this card from your hand. During either player's turn, you can pay a thousand life points, target one Dark Lord spell or trap in your graveyard, and apply that target's effect. Then shuffle the target in your deck. You can only use the effect of Dark Lord Mastin once per turn, and you can only special summon Dark Lord Mastin once per turn. So. He's just a, a guy you're able to special summon by pitching Dark Lord cards. You can use his effect to reuse Dark Lord spell and traps. This is really key because they have some powerful spell and traps. They have a Reborn, they have a Brain Control. Uh, and it's interesting because you have to manage keeping the right number like of monsters in place since you can only special one of each a turn. Now, his next pack we have Over Destiny, Archlord Christia, Trade In, Superbia. Superbia is very key for the Dark Lord deck. When this guy's special summoned, you can special summon another Dark Lord or another fairy monster from your graveyard so you can get back Dark Lords or Christia. Uh, and then we have Dark Lord Rebellion. I don't know which one this is just by name. This is send a Dark Lord monster from your hand or face up on your field to the graveyard. Destroy one card on the field. You can only use this once per turn. Um, you can only activate one Dark Lord Rebellion per turn. So that's, that's important because these guys... Uh, all the new Dark Lords, I think all of them, maybe not all of them, but most of the new Dark Lords have that effect where they copy the effect of a Spell or Trap in your bin. Uh, and it's important that they do that because they just gain the effect. Um, they don't gain the card's name, so you can use effects you had already used. We have Destiny Hero Drill Dark. I don't know what he does. Uh, Abyss Actor Extras, Escape, D Signal, and Abyss Script, Rise of the Abyss King. I don't know what this Abyss stuff does. I'm going to read this Destiny Hero Monster because D Heroes are cool. This card is normal or special summon. You can special summon a Destiny Hero Monster from your hand with attack less than or equal to this card's attack on the field. You can only use the effect of Drill Dark once per turn. If this card attack, it has Trample. So that's cool. You can summon this guy and then just special an alley from your hand or like a Diamond Dude or something to make a rank 4. Uh, I'm not going to read these Abyss Actor cards on video because this video will end up taking like 35 minutes. Valhalla is actually pretty cool with the fairy monsters. You can specially get Superbia and then get a Reborn. The base actors, Drill Dark, and Decider. I'm going to read this guy because Destiny Heroes were my favorite theme for a very long time. Level 6 or higher monsters your opponent controls cannot target this card for attacks. You can only use each of the following effects once per turn. Once per duel. Uh, if this card is normal or special summoned, add one hero monster from your graveyard to your hand during the end phase. During either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated that would inflict damage to you while this card is in the graveyard, put it back to your hand and make the effect or the uh, damage zero. And this guy could special summon him, I believe. Is it equal to or less? Less than or equal to, yeah. So Drill Dark can special summon the cider. That's kind of cool. This thing, Fires of Doomsday, which can set up some uh, Dark Lord summons if you wanted to tribute some of them, I guess, or some Destiny heroes. Uh, this guy, Zerato, which is just, you know, one of the old school Dark Lords. It's a Regeki on legs, really, really sick card. And then Destiny hero, Dine Attack. Uh, during damage calculation, when you would take battle damage, you can discard this card to make yourself take no battle damage from that attack. If you do, each player takes 1,000 damage. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Destiny hero monster you control. It gains 1,000 attack until the end of your opponent's next turn. Neat card. Has some tricks. Here, 24. Neato. Doomsday, Signal, Ismodius, and some of this guys. Ismodius is another cool Dark Lord. It's uh, kind of sticky. You got some real power to it, but it doesn't have the same synergy with the deck that a lot of the new cards do. We have Malicious, Dark Hole, 
this stuff and uh, let, let me try to figure out how this is pronounced, fam. Dark Lord Tezcatlope. Hold on, take two. Dark Lord Tezcatlop. Cat. I, I'm struggling, fam. Tezcatlipoca. Got it that time. It polkas. If Dark Lord monsters you control be destroyed by battle or card effects, you can discard this card instead. During either player's turn, you can pay a thousand life points, target a Dark Lord spell or trap card in your graveyard, apply that target's effect. And it has the you can only special summon it once, blah blah blah. So another card that you can use to copy your spells and traps. Uh, it's protection for your monsters when they're in play, but it's nothing very impressive, really. Abyss stuff, advanced draw, beginning of the end, Dark Lord Marie. Never realized this was the Dark Lord, to be honest with you. And then we have Destiny Hero Dystopia. He's a fusion. Uh, let's see here. This card is special summon. You can target a level 4 lower Destiny Hero monster in your graveyard. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to that target's attack. During either player's turn, if this card's current attack is different from its original attack, except during the damage step, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. If you do, this card attack becomes equal to the, this card's original attack. You can only use that effect once per turn. That's interesting. You can churn out a lot of damage, get rid of uh, some of the 1600 monsters. Uh, one of them, one of the other ones already has an effect to pump it up, so you can use that to kill some cards. Uh, just a really interesting card. Veil of Darkness, Creeping Darkness, Dogma. Idea Array. What's this guy do? I don't know this one. If this card is special summoned from the graveyard, it gains this effect. It gets trampled and special from your graveyard. That's the most boring card I've ever seen. And then another Dark Lord Rebellion. Dark Lord Nurse Reficule. This script, Superbia, Plasma, and an Abyss Actor. These Abyss Actor cards are probably the coolest cards in the set, and I'm just totally ignoring them, but I don't think that's true. Superbia, Dark Illusion, Plasma, Reficule. It's really cool that this card got a reprint, by the way. This has been like such a pain if you ever wanted to build this deck. It's just like a goofy casual deck, but it's it's a lot of fun sometimes to play decks like that. Then we have Banishment of the Dark Lords. Banishment of the Dark Lords adds a Dark Lord card from your deck to your hand, except Banishment of the Dark Lords. You can only use one uh, Banishment of the Dark Lords per turn. Uh, so it's again, it's an effect you can copy, uh, but it lets you tutor up your Monster Reborn, which we haven't packed any of yet, and various other Dark Lord effects, if you need a certain Dark Lord monster even. We have Destiny Draw, some cards are already open, and a Morning Star. Did we already get Morning Star? I know these cards, like what they do, but I don't know them by pictures and names. Uh, let's see, it cannot be special summoned. If this card is tribute summoned, you can special summon Dark Lord monsters from your hand or deck up to the number of effect monsters your opponent controls. While you control another Dark Lord monster, your opponent cannot target this card with effects. Once per turn, you can send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard, equal to the number of Dark Lord monsters on the field. If you do, you gain 500 life points for each Dark Lord card sent to the graveyard by this effect. So, not exactly the coolest Dark Lord in my opinion, since you have to tribute summon it. Uh, if you get it out there, you can fill your board up though, which is pretty cool. And milling cards is normally advantageous. Malicious, Overdestiny, Trade-In, Valhalla, and Defusion. Defusion, Fusion summons a fusion monster from your extra deck, no kidding. Uh, using monsters you control as fusion materials, if you do, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect. Only Destiny hero monsters can be used as materials for a fusion summon with this card. Kind of an underwhelming polymerization effect. What do I know, I guess, the we have some actors, whatever. And then we have Dark Lord Enchantment. Uh, this one is you can tribute, send a Dark Lord monster from your hand or face up from your field, not tribute, I guess. Uh, take control of a face up monster your opponent controls. You can only activate one Dark Lord Enchantment per turn. So really strong card. Brain control effects are just always insanely good. Draw, Darkness, Prometheus, Veil. A lot of cards from uh, uh, Phantom Darkness in this set. Oh, that's a bad thing. Phantom Darkness is freaking lit. Destiny Endrigan, Doomsday Horror, Dark Mambel? Mambelli? Yeah. D Cube. What in the world is this? It's Destiny here with we'll this on the field. Discard two cards, special summon DQ'd from your hand, deck, or graveyard. 
equal to the number of cards discarded. Oh, okay, so you can discard two to special two, or discard one to special one. Cool, cool. And then the other effect on the sky is if it's a Trevor Battle or card effect, you can send Destiny Hero Monster from your deck to the graveyard. Sweet card. Destiny Draw, Signal, Dynatech, this guy, and Tesla That's probably still wrong. Tezcatlipoca. Christia, Abyss stuff. More Abyss stuff. Lame. Eruption. Oh, Dark Eruption is a sick card, actually. Uh, Destiny Hero, Dark Angel. We're going to read this guy. That's a new pool there. If you have three or more Destiny Hero monsters in your graveyard, you can discard this card and target one Destiny Hero monster in your graveyard. Special summon it to your opponent's field in defense position. When a spell card or effect active, you activate resolves, negate that effect, and if you do, or if it did not have an effect, destroy that card. During your standby phase, you can banish... Wait, what? Oh, that's neat. Very weird card, actually. So if you have three Destiny Hero monsters, you can discard it and special a Destiny Hero from your graveyard uh, to your opponent's field and defense position. You can use that to set up... A lot of these guys have trample effects, so you can use that to set up direct damage. I'm sure there's some other combo with it that I don't know about. Um, when a spell or card or effect activate resolves, negate the effect. If you do, destroy that card. During your standby phase. So interesting. So you can use that to set up different combos by stacking a spell with its second effect. It's a really weird card. Dark Illusion, Escape, Drill Dark, Reficule, Wild Hope. Serato, Marie, this guy, this guy, decide. These sets are always cool, especially since everything's foil, but you definitely see a lot of the same cards over and over again. That's our first diamond, dude, though. And this is our first uh, Amdusk. So Dark Lord Amdusk, this dude's a unicorn, by the way. That's pretty cool. Uh, Amdusk is you can discard, discard in Dark Lord, and then target a Dark Lord in your graveyard, add it back to your hand. So you can get whatever effects you need out of your bin, it's easy to recycle different cards. And then it has the pay 1,000 life points to copy a Spell or Trap effect. Uh, it's got 1,800 attack and 2,800 defense, so it's got decent stats. Big butt. So what? Abyss Actor, whatever else. Dark Lord Contract. Contact, my bad. Uh, special summon a Dark Lord monster from your graveyard in defense position. You can only activate one Dark Lord Contact per turn. So that card is just amazing. Get back all of your different... Dark Lords, fill up your board, get big guys. You're getting like a level 8 monster for free normally, and your monsters all have the ability to copy that effect, so. And we have Last Pack, Veil of Darkness, a Doomsday Horror, Dark Eruption, this Sector, and Destiny Hero Celestial. Let's read this bad boy. When this card declares an attack, you can target a face up spell or trap card your opponent controls and destroy it. If you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. While you have no cards in your hand except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card and one Destiny Hero from your graveyard to draw two. So I guess this is D Hero's answer to Bubble Man. That's neat. You only have to have no cards in hand, not no cards on board. So you can set that up if you play a lot of spells in your deck. Almost, I don't say easily, but it can't be that difficult. So yeah, that's a box of this set. I think these pools were not too bad. It's going to take more than one box to build a Dark Lord deck, unfortunately. But there are a lot of cool cards in the set anyway. And if you have been playing for a long time like I have, the Destiny Hero cards got to excite you somewhat. Uh, so thanks for checking this out, guys. I think it's a really cool set. I'll make a Dark Lord video as soon as I can get my hands on all the cards so we can talk more about what that deck is actually capable of. Uh, if you have any questions about the set or what some of the cards do, and if you're actually interested in Abyss Actors, I can take the time to read them and make a video about the theme so we can talk about them a little more, too. Let me know down below. Thanks for watching, guys.